Greetings my friends, it's day 67. I have really been falling back today into some interesting old patterns from like sugar overeating that I think in particular, I mean I feel so over sugared out that like my whole uh, system is like kind of gone paralyzed if I may actually say I mean like it's like as if I've been drowning into some nightmarish physical permanent sensation that is freaking me out now it's like you know it's like life on acid just <laughs> just for real and sugar I am persuaded now if it's if it would if they would take it off the shelf and, you know, declare it to be the new Coke and price it accordingly. I mean, there would be riots on the fucking street within a matter of seconds, probably. That's how addictive it is. Anyway, I mean, like, you know, the reason why, I mean, was really that I've, I, ever since I arrived in my parents' house, I've been literally observing my oldest patterns at work. Uh, just watching my parents and watching myself interacting with them and I think there's a saying like you know um, that you really become your parents until you consciously interrupt that particular line of ancestral drama and you start interfacing with yourself consciously and start progressing yourself into the next evolutionary stage and yeah I see some I really understand a lot how I have been like I have been and how the whole thing has been unfolding uh, on a good note I mean I'm I feel like I'm not I'm not bothered anymore because it's not really part of me but I was a I was very stressed out today as I was kind of finishing off this particular uh, project of turning both of my websites into uh, brochures, like little booklets. And I became aware that the number one of the number one things that I uh, have been, that the whole concept is resting on, the whole communal empire is built upon, is our innate creatorship and that I have not really... Uh, capitalized on that within the website nor in the booklet so people have been confusing that whole nonsensical you know it's everywhere it's in the air like you know like we are creative everyone is creative that like in a way this goes so much further that our innate creativity affects literally everything it impacts all it's like affecting us on all levels every single area of our life is controlled by our actualized creatorship that it decides whether we are at peace or at war that it decides whether we are in health or in illness that decides like you know it decides about everything it decides about the future of this planet and that that um there was always this statement from Robert A Wilson that turned my whole life on, I shall say. Um, when I was around 18, I read one of his books. I think it was The Rising of the New Prometheus. And uh, the, uh, I used it actually in an art piece, that statement in, you know, um, uh, that's how much it imprinted itself on me. And it goes something like, you are the creator uh, you are the experiment, you are the experimenter as well as the laboratory. So I integrated that actually because it sums everything up and I, I'm i really good. I, I feel actually like I was being challenged yesterday on this notion of creativity because someone said, oh, you know, I can't hear it anymore. It's like an old hat, like as now it's on the shampoo, in the same way as it's on the shampoo bottle now that, oh, become yourself, you know, and it's it's really, it's true. It's like it's become a commercial slogan and the 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 whole kind of fake artificial glam agenda has, you know, stepped right into it and sucked every bit of 
commercialized exploitative potential out of it but um, it doesn't take away the power of it you know that you have come here to be who you uniquely are and that every thought and every emotion everything is ultimately like a product of your creativity and uh, yeah so that was good it kind of ripened me a bit I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.